Today I'm here at the indoor yard, so let's head in and do some thrifting. In the free section this week, they have some more of those pictures, like that Easter Bunny picture I shared with y'all. I think this might be from the same same group. They have this deer. That one's really cool with the splatter. I like that as well. Check out this one. 1988 <laughs> and another splatter one a pretty three ring binder it doesn't have a price on it and then look how fun this is a little vintage a walmart new old stock taste of home cookie box for a one dollar i am so tempted to get this little bear for my porch it's a bee I mean, it's not in the best shape, but who cares? It's going to be on the porch. Yep, fun. Chantilly Lane musical. It all starts with the little red hat. I don't know, guys. It's, it's a little faded, but it's going to be even worse than that once I put it on the porch for the mm -hmm. season. Have the plow. They came down in the price. It's now $50. I have a lot of tools and equipment with a whole section here of all kinds of things really pretty plates there's this one for 50 cents this one is hand painted for a dollar we have this swan planter for one dollar vintage thermos ice chest we have it for 75 dollars so it's kind of crummy, but I think it's probably just like a decor piece. I don't know that you would actually use it. It's pretty cool. So for six bucks, the Queen's Montreal. Here's the back side of it. Some of these blue plates. It doesn't really say who they're by on the back. They're pretty. They're very um, matte. They have a rough finish on them. Two of these plates, one dollar each. They are Noritake um, stoneware. Dishwasher safe. Six of these, 50 cents each. Blue Heaven Royal China. Made in USA. I don't know where my grandmother having these for two dollars. They have quite a stack. They're two dollars each. I feel like my grandmother served meat on these. Okay, yes, they are one dollar each. These fun little girls for a dollar fifty each. This is pretty as well for three dollars. For one dollar, it's up and on the bottom. Oh, these kind of ornaments that people decorate using the little beads and pins. Quite a collection of them. My mom did these. Probably won't buy them. I just thought I would take them out and share them with y'all. Just think they're always really pretty. These little sets where you put your mug on there, a little juice cup or whatever. They're so pretty. One dollar each. They have the two of them made in Portugal. Portugal makes such a nice china. This is so thick and sturdy. Hand painted china or candle holder for one dollar. It is painted by the same lady that painted that other one that I shared with y'all earlier. That plate. She must be local to my area because I see her pieces in the thrift store quite often. Thermoses for $2 each. Two of their brown, they're not big browns. Um, and then they have the larger one that's in a really rough shape, but it's also $2. This place serving for $6, it's five pieces. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love that gold detail. It is Ivory China by Mikasa. Here's a look at the complete serving set. This section packed full of things. I have a Holly 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 Hobby bell back here. 
She's four dollars. I don't collect bells. She's really cute. Lots of fun items. This is cute as well. It's a one dollar made in. No, it's twenty five cents rather. Made in Taiwan. Cute. She's pretty as well. She's six dollars. Beautiful little bell. Fifty cents. Let me get that one. These items here aren't necessarily vintage. This was cute. I'm a love hug. That one's definitely given vintage. 1996. It's cute. And some jelly jars down here. And let's see some vases down in the basket full of things today guys this hasn't happened in a while i actually had to go back and get a cart to put all my finds in I'm excited to share everything with y'all i'm gonna head to the register and get checked out hi sweet friends i hope you enjoyed shopping along with me there in the thrift store i always enjoy going there this week i actually had to go back and get a buggy that hasn't happened in a while let's hop right in i'll share with you what i got i spent I had to write it down. $19.75. So we'll start off with two of the bigger items. I got this really pretty frame. Gold frame. Wooden for $2. I just think it's beautiful. It's a nice solid frame. $2. They had this milk glass piece. For four dollars, and they actually had two of these, but one of them when I picked it up, it was actually almost cracked all the way across. I could feel it give, and um, it had a big old crack in it. Four dollars. I I got this to use on my porch as a plant stand, so we'll see. Four dollars. All right. Those are the big items. Oh, here's another big item. I believe she charged me $2 for this. Y'all saw me contemplating getting this um, for my porch. It's mangy. It's a little mangy. Um, it's going to get even more mangy if I put it on my porch. I just thought it was cute to sit on one of my chairs. It's a little bee. I decorate my porch in um, kind of a bee theme. A, a, a lemon, a yellow, bees black and white th those colors are my themes so i just thought it was cute um it's it's stained it's i don't know was it worth two dollars probably not um but it's a b so i got it so i got that enough going on about that um this was fun well poochies how many y'all remember that this was from 1982 this is really gross. I don't know how I can wash it. Um, I don't know how I can wash this. This is a really gross. But it's peachy. It looks like it must have been a um, color box of some sort, maybe. Anyway, I got that to go with my little vintage toys from when I was a kid. I think that was probably like 25 cents. And I got a Barbie bed for one of the littles, um, 25 cents. It does have the Barbie um, logo on it, so 25 cents for that. I thought this was cute. Maybe with a succulent in a tiered tray. Thing in the video i'm like i don't do brown and then i looked at this and i'm like uh i don't do brown but he's so cute anyway he was a one dollar he's definitely vintage he's got a lot of crazing on him but i don't know what those numbers are 
so cute got this little paperweight thought it would be fun in the craft room it's kind of got a little holly hobby vibe to it but it's not it looks like it's from from welsh england i'm not sure anyway i just thought it was cute so i picked that up they had some snow babies i think these can get kind of pricey the snow babies if you get them on um <coughs> like online they had them for one dollar these are the kind that clip on I thought these would be cute on my Christmas tree in my bedroom for next year. Some little snow babies for a buck. A little angel to add to my collection. A little um, brass angel. She was 25, I mean 50 cents. This was pretty. This is um, some a stained glass. Looks like a poinsettia. Probably holds a candle. And it was a dollar fifty, made in the Philippines. So got that one. Next, I'm not really sure exactly what this is, but here it is. I thought this would be beautiful with a just a like a bud, not a bud, but a full open like a magnolia sitting in it or something. Y'all know I love gold. Seventy five cents. It feels like it's metal. I need to look it up. It says Designs William Mac, maybe. So got that. 75 cents. Next, Paper Studio. Little paper pad. It's really crummy. It's eight clear sheets of stickers for 25 cents. And um, just love. I love stickers. that these were really cute i showed y'all these these precious little plates two for one dollar aren't they cute i love the color the little bit of gold detail and they say fine china usa got those Next in my, I have two china cabinets. One china cabinet is full of hand painted china, and the other um, is my like crystal glass a collection. And um, I like to put these cork, um, the wine corks, is that right? Wine corks in there in the um, like vases and stuff, so that they're not just plain. They had them for one dollar. That's sometimes these can get kind of pricey, but when I see them at the thrift store for a good price, I will always pick them up next i got this fun thing this is a box full of cards from like the 19 from like 1975 and it is full some of these cards look like they're maybe a little bit newer but i picked out some really cute ones that i thought i would share with y'all the designs on them are so precious Look at this one. A friendly get well wish. This is definitely a mail card. When you're sick, the sun still shines. Birds still sing and the routine goes on. It's no fun, but it goes on. Hope you feel better soon. Isn't that vibrant colors? Look at this one. Hi, how are you? Isn't it cute? Oh my goodness. This one says... Hurry and get well soon. Here's another cute one. Dropping in with a cheerful bouquet to say, hope you feel better soon. All about accidents. Birds have them. Bees have them. Owls who live in trees have them. Cats have them. Dogs have them. Pollywogs and frogs have them. Mice have them. But that's no reason you should hope you recover soon so here's what it looks like and then you open it up and you get all that that's fun no gossip or chatter and nothing 
and nothing that's new. Just wanted to let you know that I'm thinking of you. Hope you're feeling better. Cute. When I heard you, when I heard you were feeling better, it was like music to my ears. Two more. Over the hump. Well, this is to say, hope it's going. It hope it's smooth going the rest of the way. Glad you're feeling better. So there's the hump. <laughs> And one last one. Some advice while you're in the hospital. Get plenty of rest so you won't lose your grip. But most of all, now keep a stiff up keep a stiff upper lip and get well soon. And then you open it. Remember it said keep a stiff upper lip. Oh, that precious. Oh my goodness. So stinking cute. So I believe she gave me these cards for $2. And then last but not least for this haul, some shelf liners. Um, I don't know how many's in here. It's the last time I got them, uh, shelf line or uh, dresser drawer liners, they had never been open. But this seems to be like a good quantity of them. And they're just beautiful. Look at the print. Two dollars. So I picked these up as well. But anyway, guys, that is it. That is my haul. Like I said, I spent to go back and look. Nineteen dollars seventy-five cents. Not bad. I got some pretty cool items. If you have enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed thrifting with me and then the haul. Please give the video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. Become part of my friends here on YouTube. And I will see each of you in my next video. Bye, guys.